Hello and welcome back to another quick tip. Today I want to show you how you can create notations as you see here on screen. And uh, what you see is that the background of these elements, the fingering passing over a slur, the fingering over a staff, and dynamic uh, not, uh, dynamic text notation on uh, a bar line. You can see that the the bar line and the here the staff and the slur are broken up so it doesn't overlap each other and that makes the image much clearer than if you would have it the traditional way that for example uh, Sibelius always has traditionally let's take off the magnetic layout it looks like this or the fingering can look like this so as you can see it becomes um, uh, a little bit unclear when you put them on top of each other so how can you create something like this. Well, in Sibelius this is called Erase Background and this is very simple to adjust in the settings and we do it right now for the fingering and for the dynamic text. We are not doing this for the dynamic hairpins they stay like this, we don't break them. So, But for text and for the abbreviation, the written text like crescendo, uh, diminuendo, etc. we aren't going to break them. <coughs> the, in other words, Erase the Background so let's see how do we do this. The easiest way to do it is, is just selecting the element first that you want to uh, erase the background from. In this case, the fingering. We go to Edit Textiles under House Style. Fingering is selected. Edit. And then Border. There's a secret. Click Erase Background. And that's all there is to it. And now. You see a little white square around here and a little shadow because this magnetic layout is on, but when you turn it off, it's, it looks like this. And wherever you put it, the background is being erased, as you can see it. The funny thing is that it depends also on the order of the objects. So in this case, the, the notes is on the front. But if we select, for example, um, we select the finger here and put the order to bring to front. No, this will be on top of it, as you see. So. This is, it's also important that you keep an eye on the order in case it doesn't work correctly as you thought it would. So um, let's do the same for uh, dynamics. Select a dynamic, we go to house style, edit text styles, and this is the expression. So this is expression text and the normal written text like the window, you'll see it. We go to border, erase background, OK, and there you go it's hidden the background and this is for all kind of text so I will make a new crescendo for example this is also this is going to be hidden as well as long as it's on the foreground the notes are always on the foreground as you can see so everything that you drag over it will be pushed under but the, the staffs yes as you can see in, uh, are going to be hidden well you would never of course put something on top of a note I mean that's the whole point of the, the notes that you can see them. So this is actually perfect like this. So the one more thing you can adjust here is if you don't want to have this little line here, this little space here, so you have a little bit more space so you don't have things like this, it reach like this. You can adjust this white space around it by going still again to textiles, expression in this case, border, and you can adjust the space around this little text box. Which you can, by the way, also no, no, not in this case. Sorry, no. You can arrange the um, the left side of the text, for example. You can make it shorter. Let's say 15, and make the right side 15. So both sides will now be a little bit shorter. And there you go. It's a little bit shorter mm -hmm. now. We can do the same with the fingering. I like to have a little bit, uh, not too much space around it, so I have even more opportunity to use this option. And there you go, both are have only a little bit. It's hardly visible here anymore, and that's perfect. So as you see, the notes and everything has to do with the note like slurs are going to be on top of it, that's the order, but on the staffs it will be hidden. Well there you go. Erase the background. See you next time.